Hi, let's talk about arrays in TypeScript. TypeScript, like JavaScript, allows us to work with arrays. We have two ways to write array in TypeScript. Let's write it on the, the first way. For example, let's say variable array one, which will be the array of numbers and let's populate our array with few values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 so if you want to define your array you need to put your variable name then you need to put type of your variable after that type you need to put brackets these brackets will signify that our array will have these type elements and then you can populate your array with few elements on or leave it empty like this with empty brackets okay then we have the second way to define our array. We can define it by using generic array type. So we're going to use this array type and let's make our second array variable. It will have array type and we want to say that our array will is gonna be array of numbers okay let's also populate it with few numbers one two three four and five so these two versions are the same they will generate the same javascript output of course, if you want, you can define any other type for your array. For example, you can use strings. You can define strings array. Let's call it array three. And let's define string. Let's make our code look little better okay and let's populate our string with i don't know maybe few letters for example letters a b and c and similarly you can define your string array with generic array type but in this situation in our example we're going to put string inside of arrays generic says an argument and again okay let's make it to be an empty string or okay let's define a few values then of course you can create an empty array you can create array for example that has any type for example let's create an empty array which will have any type and you can create it by using new keyword and to let's create new empty array object with new array this syntax is very similar with java or c sharp syntax if you are familiar with those programming languages learning how to work with TypeScript and how to define 
new objects or empty arrays will be very easy for you. That's all in this lesson. Thanks for watching.